we all understand the concept of a woman who shit tests men. Of course, a shit test is just another name for a congruence test. Women shit test females, or I'm sorry, women shit test men when they feel themselves becoming attracted to them. When they feel themselves becoming aroused. Ooh, this guy is charming. He's debonair. Let's see if he really is who he presents himself to be. I have a boyfriend. (laughs) Great. That means I don't have to spend money on you, (laughs) right? That is the answer to the shit test. Oh, you know, here, listen, you seem cool. Put your number in my phone. We'll hang out. Eh, I don't really, I don't really give people my phone numbers. Yeah, I'm not normal people. Go on, go on and do it. Those are the answers to shit tests. Well, contrary to popular belief here in the manosphere, men can shit test women. Men can shit test females. And I'm going to give you guys six ways you can shit test females. So here we go. Number one, fish for feminism. Alan Roger Curry famously said, most girls don't identify as feminists because they know that feminists are insufferable, fat, miserable bitches who live for bitching and complaining about everything with a penis. But, he said, most females have feminist beliefs. Most females believe in the ridiculous notion of an egalitarian relationship. Most females believe in this bullshit wage gap. Most females don't believe in traditional relationships where the man leads and the female follows. Most, most women believe that men and women are blank slate equals, as Rolo Tomasi likes to put it. So the way to ferret out whether or not she's a feminist, she's never going, she, listen, she's never going to tell you I'm a feminist. Some girls actually will tell you at that point, listen, you know you're going to fuck her and chuck her. But don't ask her flat out, are you a feminist? Because she's going to say no. Ask her in an indirect way, right? So ask her, hey, listen, a buddy of mine dumped a girl because she's, you know, because she's a feminist, right? A buddy of mine just dumped a girl because... She doesn't want to take his last name when they get married. Gauge her reaction if she says, yeah, he he had good reason. Just because, listen, just because she passes that shit test doesn't mean she's not a feminist. She might know it's coming. But if she says, well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with a, what's wrong with a woman not taking a man's last name? You've got a feminist on your hands, which means you are not going to make her anything more than a fuck buddy. Number two, the second way to shit test females Fish for slut tells. Now, obviously, you can't ask, are you a slut? Obviously, right? But see if she endorses slutty behavior. For example, you know, listen, a a friend of mine just dumped his girl because he found out she was texting her ex. If she is potential long-term relationship material, she'll say, good, she doesn't need to be texting her ex. If she's a slut, she'll say, well, what's wrong with that? Or she'll say something like, well, it's just texting. It's not like she cheated on him. You know, it's interesting. Devin has a very good friend of hers who is in sort of an on-again, off-again relationship with her boyfriend, right? Now, they sort of split up, right? She broke up with him, and she, you know, she moved, you know, she moved to the East Coast. I don't remember exactly. Well, she ended up fucking a dude. And so Devin, of course, called her on it, be like, look, if you're trying to get back together with your boyfriend... Why are you fucking other dude? Well, he cheated too when we were together. Really? How did he cheat? Well, he was texting. He was texting with a girl. They sent each other nude pics. Texting nude pics? Texting dick pics? That's not fucking, sweetie. See, uh, see, a female will characterize it as cheating to give herself justification to go actually fuck a dude, right? All of a sudden, the standard for cheating is way down here when she wants to go off and get side dick. Right? But when she does, but but if she sucks a guy's dick and lets her fuck and, and lets him fuck her in the ass, well, it's technically not cheating because I only sucked his dick and we had anal sex, so vaginal it wasn't vaginal sex, so technically it wasn't cheating. You see how that works? If she endorses these scenarios, she will do it to you. Here's another example: my brother just found out his wife is going to lunch with a male coworker. If she doesn't think there's anything wrong with that, she's a slut. My dad's new girlfriend used to be a stripper. Yes, a stripper is a slut tell. My cousin's wife just got a male personal trainer. 
Watch her responses and reactions very closely, gentlemen. They tell you a lot. Here's the thing. You can tell a woman is potential long term. You can't tell, rather, that a woman is potential long-term relationship material on the first date. It takes a while to figure out whether a woman is worth committing to long-term. But you can tell she's a slut in five minutes flat. <laughs> right? Listen, I don't know. Listen, I can't tell you which girls out here are long-term relationship material, but I can tell you which ones are not. Girls know what slut tells are, and they hide them very well. I say this all the time. Girls have the internet too. So most of them are very, very good at hiding these slut tells, at least for the first few dates. Some keep it going for a month. Some keep it going for even a little bit longer than that. But eventually, guys, those slut tells, they are going to show. I'll use my own girl. I'll use Devin as an example. I'll use Devin as an example. I brag about, dude, I brag about Devin all the time. Not as much as I used to, but I brag about Devin all the time. Guys, she's got a hot body. She's above average in looks, which is good, but her body's out of this world. Anybody who follows me on social media, they know this. Devin's not a 10. Devin's a seven. She's a, listen, listen she's a seven. She, she, you know, her body is an eight. In the face, she's a six. Take the average of those both. You got a seven, Right? You guys also know she can cook her ass off. She can cook her hot, smoking little ass off. Again, you'll find this on social media. But I've never said one time, not a one time, that Devin's a snowflake. You don't think I don't, you think I don't know she's fucked a shit ton of dudes, guys? You think I don't know that she was a slut with that fucking body before she met me? Right? You, don't, you think I don't know that she's cheated on boyfriends? You think I don't know she's had one night stands or hookups? Don't get it twisted, guys. Devin is a good woman. There's no doubt about it. That's why she's my main chick. But a snowflake, a unicorn, she is not. When we met, she had hoe tendencies, but they weren't readily apparent. It took me a while to figure them out. And when I did, I acted accordingly and trained them out of her. And trust me, it was far from easy. I just released a Patreon video, the difference between training a younger woman and an older woman. Devin was 32 when I met her. That is considered to be an older woman. Training bad behaviors out of older women, that's tough because they've had their bad they've had their bad habits for a lot longer. Took me a dude, it took a while to train her out of these habits. When a woman acts a certain way for an extended period of time, eventually, gentlemen, those slut tells they're gonna show. Maybe it takes a month, maybe it takes two months, maybe it takes six months. But no woman can keep up the charade forever, Devin included. The point is gentlemen, is there are a lot of girls out there who are experts at hiding their slut tells. I call this an expert at hide my notch countology. They have degrees in, in hide my notch countology, right? Those are the ones you got to watch out for. And that's what this shit test list is for. Again, you're not, listen, you're not going to find out all at once. You can, you, listen, you can deploy these back to back, rapid fire, or you can't deploy these back-to-back -back rapid fire, or she's going to know what's going on. You got to sprinkle them in. You got to have the timing right. You can't just randomly ask, so, do you text your ex? Nah, nah. You use the example that I talked about earlier. Listen, my friend dumped his girl because she was texting her ex. You have to pick your spot to deploy these at the right time when relevant. Shit test. Number, shit test number three, try to fuck her on the first date. Try to fuck her on the first date. Yes, this is a shit test, gentlemen. Any female you fuck on the first date will not be a good girlfriend or a wife. If she fucks you on the first date, she's fucked other guys on the first date. You fuck a girl on the first date, she's a bona fide slut. You can't make her, you, can, you cannot have a relationship with her. And then they always say, well, I don't usually do this. I often refer to my friend Paul. I've, I've actually known this guy since I was 19 years old. Guy is 6'3", underwear model looks, can have any woman he wants. And a conversation that he and I have a lot is girls need to protect me, Donovan, and Paul from myself. I'm going to try to fuck you because I'm a guy and that's what I do. If I Listen, I'm up, if I'm out with you, I'm sexually attracted to you. I'm a man. I'm going to try to fuck you. But if you want to be in a long-term relationship, don't let me fuck you. Because if you let me fuck you, guess what? There's going to be no long-term relationship. 
listen, you might be a side chick. You might be a fuck buddy. You might be a one night stand. Never my girlfriend. You fuck a girl the first time you see her. That's a loss of respect. Just because I'm fucking you doesn't mean I'm considering a relationship. This is high value guys, man. This is how we work. So if you're on a first date and a girl is kind, she's feminine, she has no discernible slut tells, et cetera, right? That's all well and good. But every girl puts on the good girl act on the first date, guys. Shit test her by trying to fuck you. If she lets you, she's a slut. If she doesn't, that doesn't mean she's long-term relationship material. But I'm not going to put you in the side chick category just yet. It could be just a ruse. Shit test number three. Ask about her father. If her dad was an absentee father in and out of prison, that doesn't matter if you want to fuck her. If you, listen, if you just want to use it for a one-night stand, hey, listen, you got daddy issues, the more daddy issues, the better. But if you want a long-term relationship, she's out. Ask her if she was raised in a two-parent home. Follow up with the father questions. Do, do you have a good relationship with your father today? How did her siblings treat her father How did her mother treat her father? Here's another thing, guys. Just because you were raised in a two-parent home does not mean she's not a slut. She might have had a weak father who mom cheated on, right? Alan Roger Curry once again says, listen, if she doesn't respect men by the time she gets to dating age, she never will. Number four, ask her if she can cook. Guys, don't pussyfoot around. Don't be nebulous. Look her dead in the eye and say, can you cook? Listen, most girls say yes. Yeah, of course I can cook because they know that men like to cook. Men like women who can cook. But it's hot dogs and tater tots, right? She knows how to cook peanut butter and jelly and make me make an ice cream sundae. A lot of girls say no. They can't cook. And they take pride in it. These are feminists. Rolo says famously, girls refuse to acknowledge that they do anything specifically for a man's pleasure. Devin loves to cook. But do you think she likes walking around and strip her heels and next to nothing? Fuck no. But she does it because I like it and I require her to. Do you think she likes getting surprised butt fucked? No. But she does it. She allows me to do it because I like it and I require her to. Girls these days take pride in not making their men happy. Or at least not acknowledging it. So, if you ask her, well, can you cook? And she says yes, follow up with, well, what kind of food do you cook? Now you're going to see if she's lying. Girls will say, you know, girls will say, you know, fuck men. I don't want to do anything for men. But they know. High value men stick with women who can cook. So if she likes you, of course she's going to say yes. So now you're going to quiz her on it. What kind of food do you cook? When Devin and I started talking, I did exactly the same thing. When I asked her if she can cook, she almost laughed. She's like, can I cook? Dude, she couldn't wait to send me pictures, man. She sent me all these, dude, she sent me all of these pictures of these beautiful meals that she had cooked, and I was sold. Listen, she could have taken that picture from anywhere, right? She sent a few more, same plates. So I was optimistic, right? The first time I visited her place, She made me the best pot roast I had ever had. I was sold. Guys, I ate myself sick. I could barely fuck her that night. If Listen, again, you guys follow me on social media. You know Devin can cook. A woman who cannot or will not cook is selfish. Selfish women are sluts. And if she she is a slut, the highest status she gets is the first chick you call if your woman is on her period. Number five. As we draw to a close here, I've got a consultation at 3.30. I cannot believe I've been on the air for almost two and a half hours. The prenup test, the prenuptial test. Now, men, listen, you shouldn't get married anyway, right? We get it. But if you're in a serious relationship, you need to hit the prenup test. Here's how you do this. A friend of mine is getting married, and he wanted a prenup from his fiance or something to that effect. Say that and just wait for her reaction. Don't say, well, what are your thoughts on this? Because you, she knows you're gauging her response. Just say, hey, you know, a friend of mine is, is getting married and he, he wants a prenup. Just kind of mention it in passing. Like the fake, like fake look at your phone and say, hmm, he asked for a prenup. That's interesting. She might not take the bait at the time. 
but she will eventually tell you what she thinks. She can't help herself. Just because she doesn't react to your to your prenup test doesn't mean she ain't thinking about it, guys. Obviously, if she's a, if she's against prenups, get rid of her. I think that's fairly obvious. Not that prenups mean anything anyway, right? You shouldn't get married, but you know, but you know, obviously that's one Richard Cooper brought up. So I'll give him the, so the prenup test I'll credit to Richard Cooper. If she is against prenup prenups, then she is playing the long game. She may like you, but she only likes you. And at some point, she wants to transfer your resources to her. And the way she does this is either through marriage, having children with her, or both. That's how this works. The sixth and final shit test you can deploy with women is the door test. No, I'm not talking about if you unlock her door, let her in, and she reaches. No, 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 no. No, no. Listen, it's 2019. Most most cars have power doors. No. If you hold the door for a woman on the first date, she will, a quality female will always say thank you. Every woman does. Again, putting her best foot forward to impress you. But if she keeps walking after you hold the door for her and doesn't wait for you, she is definitely a selfish slut. And here's why. Because a quality female a woman who is long-term relationship worthy, she wants the man to lead. Sluts and feminists, they think they should lead. And they and, and they do this. They show this in nuanced ways, right? They walk ahead of you at the grocery store. They walk ahead of you when shopping. They always make it a point to stay in front of you. Guys, this is done subconsciously. It's how they're raised. But a woman who is worthy of a long-term relationship will allow you to lead. She'll walk behind you at the grocery store. When Devin and I used to go grocery shopping, I walk with the cart in front of Devin. Every once in a while, she'll break up to go grab something, but she never walks in front of me. I am always in front. And if I need to know if I need to know where to go, I'll say, okay, we need pickles. Point me in the right direction. A man pushing a cart behind a woman with a list at the grocery store tells you everything you need to know about that relationship. The only time, the only time your woman should ever walk in front of you is at a restaurant when being led by the hostess to your table. You hold the door open. She waits for you. You grab her hand. You walk ahead of her. You approach the hostess, Donovan, party of two. When she says right this way, you pull your woman to the front of you. You walk ahead of her so that she can be seated first. This is how to be a gentleman and an alpha. This is the only way to do it. Put that on the table, please. And the only time your woman should ever walk ahead of you. That's the only other time. So if you hold the door open and she waits for you to grab her hand or for you to take the lead, again, she's passed that shit test. If she keeps walking on ahead of you, she's a selfish slut. Trust me on this one, guys.